Fora TV. The world is thinking. The next le lesson I didn't learn until I was in Afghanistan. And in Afghanistan, on 29 September 2003, I learned how to fail. I patrolled about a half mile inside the border of Afghanistan and Pakistan on the Afghan side. And just as we were finishing our patrol, my lead fire team, Sergeant uh, Alan Grenz, triggered an ambush of more than 100 Al-Qaeda and Taliban fighters. I use both terms because we didn't know who the heck they were, who was firing at us. Um, but we knew they weren't friendly. And in that initial salvo, Private O'Neill, 19 years old from Haverhill, Massachusetts, was killed in action. And that was the first thing I heard over the radio. I won't get into all the details of that particular firefight, since it is the title chapter, and then you'll figure you've got the Cliff Notes version of the book, and you won't need to read any more. But I will say that losing Private O'Neill and wrestling with the consequences was the hardest thing I ever had to learn, and not something they can teach you in school. Because when you're doing casualty evacuation drills in ranger school, the stretcher doesn't get slippery with blood. And when you're doing first aid, you never have to punk you never have to fix a punctured lung. And you never have to go back out again two days later over the same terrain. And so you learn to fail. But well, much like boxing and getting knocked out, you learn to get back up again. And that's when I learned resolve. I learned that courage isn't about not being afraid. Courage is about facing that fear and knowing that this combination of duty and the responsibility of the people you lead can keep you going forward. And as we went back out over that same ground, and I looked down into the dirt, and I saw the men we'd killed, and I knew they weren't getting back up again, and I knew we weren't going to get back up again either. That was a f when I learned to be vulnerable. <laughs>